And we'll bend the elbow a little bit. Oop, that's not the elbow. I'm still clicked on the shoulder. So let's click on... I'll zoom in a little closer. Let's click on that forearm there. I believe that's where we're going to get the area to bend the, sh the elbow a little bit. That looks like a pretty good wave there. So now, let's go ahead and put the arm back down at frame number 90. Scroll all the way to 90 here. Click on that shoulder again. And lower the arm again. Also, we don't want the arm flaring out there, so let's uh, go ahead and tool around with this until we get it back to normal looking. Mm -mm. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and test the animation here. I'm going to bring this back to the first frame. And you can see that the first frame will always look like this. Uh, you shouldn't even worry about that. Really, the first parts of the animation will start on the second frame, so don't worry too much about that, but um, drag it back to the first here and make sure this loop out part is set to 90 because it's going to be the 90 frames that you want to view um, otherwise it's, so pretty much this is saying that it comes in at 2 and, and, and ends at 90 uh, otherwise it's going to just keep looping at 30 frames so let's go ahead and hit the play button here the loop button and you'll see a very slow kind of awkward wave. Um, definitely not perfect, but you could spend pretty much all day working on these if you wanted to on any kind of animation and you could perfect it pretty well. And this is going to go on for looks like more than three seconds, so it's probably a little slower than it would be if we were actually playing it in Second Life. So it might be worth loading this into Second Life and seeing how it looks now. So once again we're going to go ahead and save this file. I went up to file, save as, and let's save it as big wave. And then also save it as the BBH file again. That way Second Life can recognize it. Save it on my desktop again. And now let's go ahead and open up Second Life, and uh, I'll I'll go ahead and skip past the lo the loading Second Life part because you guys should already know how to do that, and then I'll show you how to upload it. All right, I went ahead and fast forwarded and logged into Second Life here, um, just sitting on our good old Kentucky Virtual Campus Island. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and upload the pose the sitting pose and the big wave animation that we made. So first let's go ahead and go to file just like you would any other upload here. Uh, you could do upload animation which will cost you 10 linden dollars so you have to at least have 10 linden to uh, to do this. Um, you will also have a preview window you'll see here in a second so you don't have to upload something that's not going to work at all. So let's see here I'm going to go ahead navigate to the desktop where I saved that at and I'm going to upload sitting first go ahead and open that so here's our preview window it's a little little big for what we have uh, for what we have to record in maybe I'll make my window a little larger so we can move this around alright so you can see this pre preview window which you can rename it whatever you want at this point and you can also give it a description if you want we're going to go and keep it called sitting uh, the priority is something that's pretty important uh, some animations in Second Life have a higher priority than others I believe some of the higher priority items are uh, the typing animation that you'll see when you type different animations just have different priorities you can find a list of the priorities on the uh, Second Life wiki as I was showing you earlier I'll go ahead and click over here and show it to you if you scroll to the part where it talks about priority, 
down here, number eight priority. You can look at the default built-in animations list, and it'll tell you exactly what priority you need to worry about, or what, what each thing is. So it has something for everything. You can look down the entire list if you want. But what's important to know is that zero is the lowest priority and four is the highest priority. So apparently the dead animation uh, is a priority four, whereas a lot of these other ones are two. Um, a lot of twos, it looks like. So with that in mind, um, we don't really need our sitting to be super high priority, right? So we'll just keep it at two. Also, there's the ease in and ease out, but you really only have to worry about that if you're looping it. Uh, since, it, since it's just a pose and not animation, you don't really have to worry about that. Um, though, if you want to keep your character in your pose, I, you, you are going to loop it. I'll, we'll see here in a second as I hit play. Um, you can choose how your hands are are in your in your pose here. So you have a variety of options to choose from. We'll just go ahead and do uh, relaxed. It seems normal for sitting. For the expression, you can choose a, a bunch of different expressions. Uh, we'll just do board because they're sitting and you can preview it here in the bottom window in any of these ways so we'll just it's, it'd be funny to do it while sitting because we're sitting again but we'll do standing so let's go ahead and hit play see what happens okay you don't see anything happen because of this ease in here we're going to go ahead and hit zero for all this that way there's no ease in or ease out and so you can see them sit for like a split second and then it goes it goes away that's just because we're not looping it. If we loop it and keep the, yeah, there you go. You can see it. the person stays sitting, uh, <laughs> pretty much like you saw it in the other, in the other window in uh, Q Animator. So we're gonna just give this a shot and hit upload. Uploading. All right. Takes the ten linden off. Uh, let me try to get to my. <laughs> inventory here. It's just out of the view of the camera or the uh the studio here. Alright. Bring up the inventory. Looks like it already opened my animations thing for me. Uh my animations folder for me. Let's go ahead and drag this out of the way a little bit and double click on sitting. And then you can also you can here you can uh preview it. So let's uh let's try to get get ourselves a better view here. Alright. You can play it in the world or play it locally. Play it locally if you don't want anyone else to see it, though I'm not sure why you would do that. Play locally and it looks like uh we're sitting. <laughs> so there you see it. Pretty much as we had it. Now it will matter sometimes how big your character is say if you in the appearances tab uh, when you go to edit your appearance you can make your character larger and taller uh, I believe with Q Avimator doesn't necessarily take that into account so sometimes you will get a weird clipping of uh, body parts through other body parts that kind of thing but uh, I mean generally it's still the exact same sitting position we made though let's go ahead and upload the next one uh, the the animation that we did and then stop so I'm bringing down the file menu. I know you can't see it, but just hit file, and then uh, upload animation again, because it's the poses are the same as animations in that regard. Big wave, open, and you can already see the preview down there of the person waving. So we're gonna keep it priority two again. Doesn't need a loop because we're just gonna do one big wave, and then uh, we can do hands relax expression. We'll just do a big smile because they're waving. Um, I'm actually going to take this down to zero again. And let's see what we get. A big, slow, three second wave. Maybe even a little longer, but it'll work as far as what we're doing. So let's go ahead and upload it and see what it looks like. It'll probably open up in the exact same folder as we have open. Big wave. We will preview it in the world again. <laughs> Once again, I'm clipping my hand through my body, probably because I didn't take into the width of my character there. Uh, let's <laughs> so maybe not the best example of a great animation, but once again, spend all the time you need in there to make it perfect. I believe that's all we have for you here today. 
uh, we've shown you shortly how to make a pose in QAvimator as well as a short animation. Uh, have a good time.